Hey folks, Matt from EduCrew here, and today we'd like to tell you a little bit about setting certain features within Minecraft EDU using the settings files within the game. So first let's look at our Minecraft EDU folder. Um, your folder should have these things in it. There are three settings files that you can be concerned with. The first one is in Launcher Res folder in the settings folder within that called launcher settings.ini. Let's take a quick look at that. That'll open up a text file with all kinds of parameters in it and their descriptions. The descriptions are right after the little pound sign here and the parameter that can be changed is right below each one. So probably the biggest thing in the launcher settings INI um, file that you can change or would want to change might be the client RAM that's allocated and in this case the default is 700 um, on a 32-bit system you can go up as high as 1024 which is one gigabyte of RAM um, on a 64-bit system you can actually go up higher than that and that all depends on how much RAM you actually have available I would suggest probably not going more than 50 percent of your total RAM because other programs need RAM too um, some of the other things you can do in here would be um, as far as how the launcher works and those are all described here one other thing that you can do within this file is actually add some parameters that are not here by default and to figure out what those parameters are let's run over to the minecraft edu wiki and go over to the taking it further tab and down to customizing launcher now here in the customizing launcher paragraph you'll see at the bottom of it it says read more about hidden configuration options and that's at this page right here you'll see there's a list of different parameters that you can add to the launcher settings file that will do additional things for you that that are not included normally so some of the things you might want to do is take out the mods button from the launcher or take out the vanilla minecraft button which is this guy here let's do that real quick and we'll show you how that works later on um, so we'll copy and then pick up our text file and we'll just copy it to the bottom here and paste that guy in now that parameter will be picked up by the system and implemented so that will mean that the Minecraft button, the normal Minecraft button, not the Minecraft EDU button, will be disabled and, and won't even be available. Okay, so we're going to want to save this file, and that will be able to be used later on. All right, the second settings file that we're going to look at is in the server tool folder. In the settings folder, it's called server wizard settings ini. Looks very similar to the last one we looked at um, but these parameters control how the server actually works um, one of the things you may want to change would be how much RAM is allocated to the server itself um, by default it's 1024 same limitations apply in a 32-bit system you're gonna be limited to that 1024 um, but on a 64-bit you could bump that up I'll put that up to 2048 or 2 gigabytes and we'll go from there um, this file also has its own um, hidden parameters that you can put in but usually those aren't really um, used very often since teachers are the ones that generally implement the servers anyway there's really no need to hide buttons from from students in this case so we will save that guy as well and the third settings file is in minecraft folder which is the client folder and it doesn't have its own settings folder so it's just this file right here minecraft edu settings.ini and you'll see in there a few things that we might want to change um, this first one up here um, to remove the single player button from the main menu so if you want your students only to be able to connect to your multiplayer server that you're in control of okay you might want to get rid of this button so they don't even have the option of playing a different version than what you want them to play. Um, these next two are things that um, for students who play at home a lot they might want these buttons in to show their achievements 
or their statistics. Otherwise, these buttons just don't appear in the client. Um, the next one we can take a quick gander at would be to use custom skin. And you can set this to true if you have a skin that you use with normal Minecraft with your Mo Mojang account. Um, if you're able to authenticate out to the Minecraft.net servers within your school, then you're welcome to use this. Um, just be aware that if Minecraft.net is blocked in your school, then this parameter won't work for you at all. It'll it'll won't be able to reach out and get your skin from the servers. So just be aware of that. Um, one other thing that we will address in a future video would be allowing server texture packs and that would be to push out a texture pack or a resource pack as they're called now out to all the clients all at once so uh, we're gonna do that in another video but just be aware that's where we're gonna look at that so we will save those things and let's take a quick look at how this affects um, how Minecraft EDU looks for the player okay so you'll notice that here in our launcher we have a Minecraft EDU start button but we don't have the start regular Minecraft button anymore just a blank space so it's not even an option okay we could have eliminated the server launcher button too we could have eliminated the mods button could have eliminated the updates button okay we could take all of those buttons away right in the settings menu we could even take away the start Minecraft EDU button but then I don't know what the point would be but it's possible okay so after we start up a client let's take a look and see how that view has changed a little bit from our settings remember that we did disable the single player and we'll see how that has affected how that looks okay one second while we log in and we'll look so now we have a, a multiplayer button so that can connect to your server in your classroom or wherever um, but we don't have the single player button anymore so a student can't start up their own little world on their own without you and you having the servers open alright so if we click on that let's uh, join a server real quick and I'll show you uh, one other little thing and uh, let's connect as the student and you'll notice on the screen if we hit F3 you can see in the upper right corner we actually have more memory available to us um, see that 18 20 megabytes so that's something that we did change alright and one other thing that we did change also was having these two buttons right here achievements and statistics those wouldn't be there if you hadn't enabled them in the settings. All right, so if you have any questions, please let us know, and we would be happy to help. You can post questions up on the Minecraft Teachers Google group or as a comment to this video. Thanks for watching.